welcome to a revealing journey that exposes the dark underbelly of wildlife tourism. Behind the captivating facade lies a grim reality that demands our attention. In this video, we confront the uncomfortable truth and advocate for a more ethical approach to wildlife encounters. From elephant rides to petting zoos and dolphin shows, we expose the troubling realities behind these popular attractions. It's time to challenge our complicity and strive for a world where animals are treated with dignity and respect. The Reality of Wildlife Tourism The world of wildlife tourism operates on the allure of experiencing the natural world up close and personal. It entices travelers with promises of thrilling encounters with exotic animals and the opportunity to create lifelong memories. However, beneath the glossy surface lies a disturbing reality of animal exploitation and abuse. Wildlife tourism operates by commodifying captive animals, treating them as mere objects for human entertainment. Animals are often subjected to harsh training methods, deprived of their natural habitats, and forced into confinement. The industry profits from their captivity, prioritizing the satisfaction of tourists over the well-being of these innocent creatures. There are a variety of attractions that draw in crowds of eager visitors. Let's delve into some popular attractions, examining both their appeal and the hidden truths behind them. Elephant Rides Elephant rides, often offered in countries like Thailand and India, seem like whimsical adventures. Tourists climb aboard these gentle giants, guided through lush landscapes. However, the reality behind elephant rides is harrowing. Investigations have exposed the brutal training methods employed to break the spirits of these majestic creatures. Young elephants are forcibly separated from their mothers, subjected to physical abuse such as beatings with sharp objects, and deprived of food and water until they submit to carrying tourists on their backs day after day. These intelligent and social animals endure physical and psychological trauma, leading to a shortened lifespan and compromised well-being. Petting Zoos Petting zoos, found in various tourist destinations, create an illusion of connection with wildlife. Visitors can feed and interact closely with a range of animals, especially baby animals. However, the truth behind petting zoos is far from innocent. Animals in these zoos are often confined to small, unnatural enclosures. They endure constant handling, noise, and disruption of their natural behaviors, causing immense stress and anxiety. Improper care, overcrowding, and the risk of diseases further compromise their well-being. The animals' lives become reduced to mere objects of amusement, devoid of their natural habitats and social structures. Orca and Dolphin Shows Orca and Dolphin Shows, held in marine parks worldwide, mesmerize audiences with the agility and intelligence of these remarkable marine mammals. Yet, the captivating performances belie a dark reality. Orcas and dolphins used in these shows are typically torn away from their natural habitats or bred in captivity, doomed to a life of confinement. In cramped tanks, they are trained through coercive methods that include food deprivation and punishment. These highly intelligent and social creatures are denied their natural behaviors and social interactions. The stress of captivity, the separation from their social groups, and the denial of their natural instincts lead to physical and psychological ailments, compromising their well-being and shortening their lives. Tiger Selfies The opportunity to take a selfie with a majestic tiger is a popular attraction in some destinations. Tourists are enticed by the chance to get up close and personal with these powerful creatures. However, the reality behind tiger selfies is grim. Many of these tigers are subjected to inhumane conditions. They are often taken from their mothers at a young age, drugged to make them docile, and kept in cramped enclosures. These activities perpetuate the cycle of animal abuse and contribute to the illegal wildlife trade. Can Hunting Can hunting, a disturbing practice, involves the hunting of captive-bred animals in confined spaces in places like South Africa, the United States, Zimbabwe, and Europe. These facilities lure trophy hunters with promises of guaranteed kills and the chance to bag prized specimens of iconic species like lions, leopards, and rhinoceroses. This practice contributes to the exploitation of animals, as they are bred and raised solely to be hunted. It perpetuates a cycle of cruelty and undermines the conservation efforts for these species. Performing Animal Shows Beyond dolphin shows, other performing animal shows, such as those involving sea lions, monkeys, and birds, are prevalent in various tourist destinations. 
These shows often involve animals performing unnatural behaviors, dressed in costumes or subjected to loud music and crowds. These animals are often taken from their natural habitats or bred in captivity, enduring a life of confinement and exploitation. These examples are not isolated incidents but are representative of a systemic problem within the wildlife tourism industry. The charm and excitement of these attractions mask the cruelty and exploitation that occur behind the scenes. The Impact on Animals The consequences of wildlife tourism extend far beyond the immediate suffering experienced by individual animals. The exploitation and abuse within the industry have devastating impacts on entire populations and ecosystems. Loss of Natural Habitat Capturing animals for tourism purposes disrupts their natural habitats and threatens their survival. The removal of animals from their ecosystems can result in imbalances within the food chain and ecosystem dynamics, affecting other species and the overall biodiversity of the region. The destruction and fragmentation of habitats to create space for tourist facilities further exacerbate the loss of natural habitats, pushing wild populations closer to the brink of extinction. Disruption of Social Structures Many species, such as elephants and primates, are highly social animals that rely on intricate social structures for survival. Separating individuals from their social groups disrupts their natural behaviors, communication, and hierarchical systems. Elephants, for example, form tight-knit family units led by matriarchs who pass on knowledge and protect the herd. The separation of individuals from their social groups disrupts this natural order and can lead to increased stress, aggression, and psychological trauma among the animals. Disrupted social structures can also impact reproduction rates, reduce genetic diversity, and hinder the long-term survival of wild populations. Within wildlife tourism, certain animals are particularly vulnerable to exploitation due to their charisma, intelligence, or cultural significance. Elephants Taken from their natural habitats, separated from their social groups, and subjected to brutal training, elephants in wildlife tourism suffer physically and emotionally. They endure physical ailments, distress, and shorten lifespans. The demand for elephant tourism fuels the capture and breeding of elephants, endangering wild populations. Tigers Exploited for activities like tiger selfies, captive-bred tigers endure cramped conditions, inadequate care, and deprivation of natural behaviors. Tigers and wildlife tourism suffer immensely, contributing to the illegal wildlife trade and compromising their well-being. Orcas and Dolphins Captured from the wild or bred in captivity, orcas and dolphins face confinement, restricted social interactions, and heightened stress levels in dolphin shows and swim with dolphin programs. Their physical and psychological well-being suffers, resulting in increased mortality and decreased reproductive success. Monkeys Used in street performances, photo ops, and petting zoos, monkeys experience disrupted natural behaviors, fear, stress, and physical injuries. Baby monkeys in petting zoos endure constant handling, exposure to crowds, and unnatural conditions, with long-term detrimental effects on their health and well-being. From an ethical standpoint, the exploitation of wild animals for entertainment purposes raises questions about the intrinsic rights and welfare of these beings. It challenges our moral compass and calls for a re-evaluation of our relationship with the natural world. By using animals as mere objects of entertainment, we disregard their well-being, compromising their physical and psychological health for our own pleasure. This raises ethical dilemmas about the treatment of animals, their right to live free from harm, and the responsibility we bear as stewards of the planet. Fighting back against wildlife tourism. The fight against wildlife tourism is gaining momentum as organizations, governments, and individuals join forces to address the ethical and environmental concerns associated with the industry. Various strategies are being implemented to combat wildlife tourism. Law enforcement. Governments are enacting legislation and strengthening law enforcement efforts to crack down on illegal wildlife trade and activities that exploit animals. Strict regulations and penalties are being imposed to deter and punish those involved in animal trafficking, the capture of wild animals, and the operation of unlicensed or abusive wildlife tourism facilities. Education and Awareness Education plays a vital role in combating wildlife tourism. Awareness campaigns are being launched to educate tourists about the detrimental effects of supporting exploitative attractions and to promote responsible tourism practices. Conservation Initiatives Conservation organizations are actively working to protect and restore natural habitats, safeguard wildlife populations, and promote sustainable tourism practices. 
They engage in research, habitat restoration, and community-based conservation initiatives to mitigate the negative impacts of wildlife tourism. Moreover, individuals have a crucial role to play in combating wildlife tourism. They can help by Choosing responsible tourism options When planning trips or seeking wildlife encounters, opt for responsible tourism operators and attractions that prioritize animal welfare, conservation, and sustainable practices. Support establishments that offer genuine conservation programs, rehabilitation centers, or ethical wildlife sanctuaries that focus on the well-being and long-term conservation of animals. Educate others. Spread awareness among friends, family, and fellow travelers about the dark realities of wildlife tourism. Encourage them to make informed choices and to question the ethics behind certain attractions. Support conservation organizations. Contribute to the efforts of reputable conservation organizations that work tirelessly to protect wildlife and their habitats. By donating, volunteering, or participating in fundraising events, individuals can actively support the conservation initiatives that combat wildlife tourism and promote long-term solutions. Significant progress has been made in the fight against wildlife tourism, with increased awareness, stricter regulations, and concerted conservation efforts. The industry is being held accountable, and individuals are becoming more conscious of their choices. However, numerous challenges persist. Lack of global consensus. Wildlife tourism operates across borders, making it essential to establish a global consensus on ethical and sustainable practices. Collaboration among governments, organizations, and communities worldwide is crucial for effective regulation and enforcement. Cultural shift. Changing deep-rooted cultural norms and practices related to wildlife tourism presents a significant challenge. Education and awareness campaigns must work to shift societal perspectives and highlight the importance of compassion, conservation, and responsible tourism. Economic considerations. Balancing the economic interests of communities dependent on wildlife tourism with the need for ethical practices and conservation can be challenging. Developing alternative sustainable livelihoods and providing economic incentives for conservation can help address this dilemma. The time has come to reassess our relationship with wildlife tourism. It is not enough to simply be entertained by the suffering of animals. We must recognize the intrinsic value of these creatures, their right to live free from harm, and their crucial role in maintaining healthy ecosystems. Exploiting animals for tourism purposes undermines their well-being, threatens their survival, and compromises the delicate balance of our natural world. It is incumbent upon us to acknowledge the cruelty and injustice inherent in these practices and work toward a future where animals are treated with compassion, dignity, and respect.